dopamine and serotonin the happy hormones as we loosely call them we all want that right after all who wouldn't like to be happy in their life well uh, there are minor differences between dopamine and serotonin and one of it can actually cause addiction anxiety and even the other one uh, lack of it can cause uh, depression so let's understand the difference between dopamine and serotonin how much do you want and how should you kind of look at dopamine and serotonin what can you do to improve your overall happiness and do well after all well being that's what we want right my name is rajiv ambad i'm the ceo and the chief health officer at nubo vivo center for obesity lifestyle disorders and research we work with our clients across the globe we are an online health and wellness company we help our clients manage and reverse lifestyle diseases such as diabetes cardiovascular diseases fat liver pcos etc all right so back to our topic dopamine and serotonin now the difference between these two is that dopamine is more like a, a reward and a pleasure seeking hormone whereas serotonin is more of a happiness and being content sort of a hormone so what is the difference so dopamine is more like this feels good i want more of it serotonin on the other hand is this feels good i am content i don't want any more of it that's a primary difference right think of it that way dopamine is more dopamine i need more and i need more and more and more so it's more of reward seeking it is more of pleasure seeking the problem with reward and pleasure is that you know uh, when you get uh, when you want a, a reward you go after it you do things you achieve it you feel pleasure out of it but there is a stress which comes along with it the problem is that this reward and pleasure along with stress that can cause a problem and that's where the problem of dopamine is so you know and 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 most often dopamine is more like i want it now it's more of very you know momentary in in, in the sense that i don't i'm not worried of what happens in future i want it now because it makes me feel good now irrespective of how would it would make me feel later that's dopamine for you so you know that if you are on a for example if you are diabetic and if you are on a diet or if you are on a weight loss journey you know for a fact that you can't have that pizza you might go on a calorie surplus so you can't have that ice cream but it momentarily makes you feel good so you want it now you eat it you feel good you get pleasure and reward out of it that's dopamine for you only to feel miserable and terrible a little later so dopamine you see how dopamine leads to addiction and that's the problem with dopamine but does it mean that dopamine is bad of course not uh, low dopamine can cause adhd parkinson's disease even high dopamine is also a problem it can cause psychotic uh, diseases it can cause uh, schizophrenia these are all the problems of high do- uh, dopamine serotonin on the other hand as i earlier said this is more like i am happy i am content uh, so when you spend time with your family or your loved ones the feeling that you get that is basically serotonin you know and the primary difference there is dopamine as you as i've all, uh, earlier mentioned is more like this feels good i want more so it is actually excitatory sort of a neurotransmitter meaning you want more it, it excites the hormone uh, the, the neurons even more so the problem with that is that with more excitement the amount of pleasure that you get is lesser so our body down regulates it so you need more so with with more and more of what you do the pleasure that you derive out of it actually falls and you see how that becomes a vicious path you would want to say for example uh, watch porn and get pleasure out of it but the uh, you think that you know just this more and just a little more but the pleasure that you derive out of it reduces but you are addicted to doing it more and more and continues to seek reward and pleasure out of it where on the serotonin it's like spending time with your loved ones spending time with your family it is more social in nature that's the thing about serotonin and serotonin is inhibitory uh, uh, neurotransmitter so that's the primary difference between dopamine and serotonin yeah now um uh well uh, serotonin also um, you know manages the mood it manages the stress it manages the sleep cycle lack of serotonin causes depression you're not happy so lack of serotonin causes depression and that's why 
one classification of drug which helps people come out of depression depression is actually those drugs which tries to increase the amount of serotonin in the uh, in our brain it's called SRIs uh, serotonin reuptake inhibitor these are the drugs that is sometimes the doctors would give to people who are battling uh, depression uh, it is also said that only 10% of the serotonin is actually produced in the brain remaining 90% is actually produced in the gut so that's a very interesting thing. So nothing about this dopamine and serotonin and how it actually impacts our mood and the brain and our general well-being is still not completely being understood. A lot of things that is still the uh, this modern science is still trying to uh, you know answer and understand and learn from with the information that we have regarding all this neurotransmitters and its impact on the brain and things like that right so i want to kind of bring in few differences seven primary differences between dopamine and serotonin for you right i've written it down so dopamine number one pleasure right dopamine is pleasure whereas serotonin is uh, uh, happiness right so number one is that Pleasure is short, short term, right? It's like having an ice cream. I felt good right now. Whereas happiness is long term. It is like happy, feeling happy with your loved ones. Second uh, difference is that pleasure is physical. It's visceral. Whereas happiness is you feel it inside. You feel it, it's ethereal. It's, 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 you feel it in the soul, right? Third difference is that pleasure is actually taken. Whereas happiness is like you feel it, happiness is given. You go and do some sort of social activity. You feel happy. You feel content. That's happiness for you. Uh, number four, um, pleasure is mostly achieved alone by eating a pizza. You know, it's more of alone. Whereas happiness is achieved in a social setting, being with your loved ones, being with your friends. Fifth difference is uh, uh, pleasure is achieved with substances, drugs, other psychotic uh, substances, etc. Whereas uh, happiness is not achieved with substances. Pleasure can lead to addiction. That is uh, number six. Whereas happiness is not addictive. You can't be an overdose of happiness. And number seven and the most important part is that pleasure is dopamine, whereas hap happiness is serotonin. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to talk about uh, dopamine and serotonin. The best method to regulate this is exercises and uh, you know uh, serotonin while it actually makes you feel happier excessive of serotonin can be extremely dangerous it's called serotonin syndrome it can cause even death so you can't kind of artificially induce serotonin beyond a limit certain drugs sometimes can interact like this and can cause this condition which is extremely dangerous and needs immediate medical attention uh, but best method to naturally make a person feel happier and content and pleasure and that let that actually stay for a longer duration is actually uh, exercises so if you go for a run or if you go to a gym and lift weights for some time and uh, you know the pleasure that derived out of the general feeling of happiness that's the right amount of dopamine and serotonin for you so i hope this information was helpful and uh, i wish and uh, uh, i wish you a wonderful 2023 and i hope you stay healthy Stay young, stay fit and stay safe. Take care.